Hi, my name is Rick Hall. I'm from Ignite in the United Kingdom, uh, where we try to do lots of experiments with children that are to do with our senses. And today I'm going to show you one which is all about our sense of hearing and how sound travels to our ears. And this is a very simple experiment that anybody can do at home using everyday materials. So, just as an illustration, I'm going to use a metal coat hanger. Now, a very simple uh, experiment, but it's surprising what effects you can achieve when you do something a little bit different. I've tied some pieces of string to the metal coat hanger, but if I tap this with a dinger, again, highly technical term, the sound is very dull. It's not very loud. It's more like a, well, just a very dull sound. Um, you can do this with any metal object uh, that you have at home. I've borrowed um, just a shelf out of the fridge. And if you take a loop of string, and if you tie two loops at the end of the string that you can place over your index fingers, like this, and then attach it to the shelf of the fridge. And I'll just do that very quickly to show you. We can demonstrate how sound travels to the ear. Now, if I tap it with the dinger, Yes, I know. Let's see what sound it makes. Is that loud or soft? soft. It's soft. It's not very loud, is it? Is it like a ting or like a bong sound? Ting or bong? Ting, yeah. It's, it's not a very... it's a bit dull, really, isn't it? Now, if you will keep your fingers straight for me, point them inwards, Lean forward slightly, put your fingers in your ears, and I'll, can you lean, that's it, and I'll tap it again. Look at that expression of it, of... What did it sound like? Oh! Yes! Yes! It's because the sound is travelling through the string, and the ends of your fingers, much better than it travels through the air. So you get this huge bong sound when you tap it uh, with your fingers in your ears. 